Hey guys, welcome back to another webinar. I'm so glad to have you guys here with me. We've got the cameras here on the side and this is all about LinkedIn, how to optimize your LinkedIn profile to build inbound leads. Now, like I said earlier, you can see the Rabasha family uh, podcast sign there at the back. I'll see if we can scoot out that bad boy up, you know, got to get the branding right there. I've always um, been a person who's just came into business um, just putting in action, right? Like I always was a person who came in as a content creator. You know, I came in this just documenting my life. Like I've said many times, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Sujira Rubasha. Um, and yeah, for some of you who are wondering, why should I listen to you? I'll just tell you a little bit about myself um, from a first generation immigrant family. We moved here to Australia and now I've been in this space where I've just been you know, documenting my life, showing the journey, started a podcast, um, was on YouTube, built my channel up to 20,000 subscribers. And in doing that, we built in a business where we help people build their personal brand. We help people put out their authentic voices out to more people, out to the world to be able to just deliver value. Um, and in so doing that, I didn't have a marketing degree. I didn't come from, you know, a, a marketing background. No, I just came from a background of, expressing my authentic self and in doing that became a content creator and in doing this now led me into business and so as I was saying earlier I've never been a person to be in sales as much I'm still not the best like person in terms of all right numbers we need to be able to uh, reach out to this amount of people and this like I'm still even learning that and getting better at that because I've always been like, I just want to keep building my brand. I want to be out there. Like my strengths always came in meeting people, meeting people, being face to face, you know, doing great, cool videos and marketing myself and educating, educating exactly what I'm doing now. This is my element. This is my flow. And so I've always had that little bit of weakness in, in, in the reaching out to people. So I got to a point where I said, I'm going to market myself so well. I'm going to stick to what I love doing at scale where inbound leads are going to come to me. I'm going to make sure that people come to me because I'm good at what I do, right? And so in doing that, I was posting on social media, but I found LinkedIn to be the place. Like that's where all the decision makers are. That's where all the people who, you know, want to learn, want to grow, who, you know, have the money, who have the budget are on, they're on that platform to learn, to grow, right? Um, To grow their business. So if I come across them consistently, think about how powerful that's going to be for my business, right? We talk about building revenue streams, you know, and this is something that we'll get into. But if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm going to be able to Someone sees my content on LinkedIn and says, hey, we want to book you for a speaking gig. We want to book you, right? And that's building another revenue stream outside of what I do on the business front of things. So that's why this is very, very valuable. That's why this is very important. Um, and that's why I really want to be able to share these strategies with you on how to grow and optimize your profile on LinkedIn. So like I said, your LinkedIn profile is crucial. It is absolutely fundamental. Think about it, right? You at a networking event, you meet someone, they like you. What are they going to do, right? They're going to go and search on LinkedIn. You network with them. They're going to go on LinkedIn. And so when you come on their LinkedIn, you want them to see who you are, right? Again, like I I always like to say, the proof is in the pudding. Um, let's go. Here we are. This is the company page. But when they come on my LinkedIn, well, what do they see, right? Someone meets me in, in, in public, Um let me just make sure everyone can can uh, see um, there in the in the Zoom. But you come on my LinkedIn profile. This is what you see straight away. You're gonna see content straight away. You're gonna see who I am and what I'm about. Let me actually show you. Let's go through real life examples. Okay, boom. Right. So this is a client that we manage. Um, this is something that I'll get into in in the slides. Um, but you know, I I also post what we do for our clients. Right. So it's like straight away, you'll be able to see, oh, so this is what he does. So very important. Again, like when you come on, we partner with high level CEOs, allowing them to spend time doing what they love while we help them build their personal brands and stand out in the marketplace. You can see here what's happening. You know, hey, it says even it's down the past seven days, 6,000 impressions. Um, let me just make sure. Uh, cool. 6,000 impressions. Um, you can see. 
which is this is really interesting to see what are the, my top impressions let's actually go through it with you um i think because this is about strategies this is about how can you um really stand out in the marketplace right what's going to make you different so you can see here this got 616 impressions did quite well great photo you know looks appeasing to the eye um quite a few comments you know we are changing the game one day at a time so you see the copywriting is extremely important i'm very mindful of this you know when just going into who i am what we do you know great photo by the way i can see why that got a lot of impressions um so let's going through um have you seen a more handsome ceo you know video content which i'm going to go into but you know just me what did i say at the start of this like i just this is this is my element like branding and being out there and talking um you know, looking good, appeasing to the eye, right? So imagine someone meets me and my connection requests, all of this, this is what they see. So they see I'm a human being. They see he looks cool. He looks good. He's passionate about what he does. Um, and this is what we call how to optimize your profile. So can you see, this is a live example. Okay. Um, showing in behind the scenes of my day. Monday's been a great start, you know, doing what I do. So you can see, oh, he's a podcast host. He speaks to people. Straight away, you can come on my profile and see what I do, right? Um, again, you can see a lot of my copywriting is quite good. Um, so just certain strategies which we can go into. Um, so that's what you see, right? Quite a lot of content. Um, and I'll go into a few of these tactics um, later on. So again, like I said, someone meets you in public. What do they see when they come on your profile? Oh, there we go. What do they see when they come on your profile? That's this is extremely important because you want them to see you as an expert, right? So we partner with high level CEOs. You know, I want to be a bit more specific on my services. Something I spoke with my coach, my business coach. Like, you know, how can you be specific? Tell us exactly what you do, right? So YouTube strategy and management, podcast management, podcast consultancy, personal brand strategy, LinkedIn optimization, which we help people do, high level networking workshops. Partner with us to build a solid community and audience who know, like, and trust you. I want to be able to add speaking too. Like that's something that I'm really pursuing is a speaking career. Um, because again, I always tell founders as a founder, your job is to be out there branding. You want to be consistently branding yourself, right? So you're out there speaking in conferences, speaking in workshops, right? Speaking in places. And, and now you're doing that and bringing business into your business, right? So you're out there and now you have a team, you have things going on. You're bringing that into the business and now you're monetizing that speaking. So you're monetizing the speaking in terms of on the business side, but now you'll be monetizing it further by people booking you to come and speak, which is extremely powerful. So I've been doing that recently and I can show you guys a little bit in presenting. So look, you come on my profile, which I'm going to get into a little bit more strategies, right? You know, the impressions going up market, like, look, look, you just see, you know, such content, another small strategy. We're going to go into this, but I'm just going as you guys, I'm, I'm on my LinkedIn profile. Another great strategy is long form content on LinkedIn, right? So we talk about video. So what we're doing is seven minute videos, eight minute videos, what we post on YouTube, repurposing on what we post here on YouTube. Why don't we put it on LinkedIn? You see, I I, I think, okay, I can post the YouTube link and, and look and the thumbnail look good. That's what I used to do. But I'm like, people are lazy. People are lazy. You got to be in their face so much. So, hey, if they're not going to get this on LinkedIn, um, I mean, if they're not going to get it on YouTube or if they're not going to go on YouTube, boom, put it on LinkedIn, put it in their face when they're scrolling, right? Especially long form content is great to build that trust with your target customer. Really, really valuable um, information, I'm telling you. So you see, this is the YouTube content. Even this, I'll probably post this later. Um, we'll have someone in my team help me do that, post that on LinkedIn. So you see a lot of this content here, we now repurpose on linkedin okay so let me show you guys then so yeah look you're coming across boom personal photos you see there's a mix right this this quite good good impressions again i talked about speaking quite a lot look you're going to see here a decent amount of impressions what am i doing what am i doing i'm out here branding right i was able to give a presentation and again i love speaking i love making it about the audience what questions do you guys have how can i serve how can i serve and then now you see look let me tell you this i was doing this presentation at a networking event right but what did i do 
I took I took my cameras because I know this is documentation. What do most people do? They'll they'll do a presentation like this. There's no proof of it. Maybe someone took a photo. You didn't document it. You didn't document it. So if you didn't document it, okay, you did the presentation. Maybe it was a fantastic presentation. You, you did it amazing. But then that's it. Only the people in the room were able to be a part of that presentation. But now, by me documenting this, by me taking my cameras just to turn the camera on while I'm doing what I'm doing, not only the people in the room are there and getting value from this, but now all the other people can watch this. But now what happens is when all the other people watch this on camera and, and we post this, it makes me look like a thought leader. It makes me look like an expert. Look, he's on a table with people, with business owners. He's answering questions. Wow, this person can help us. This person can come and speak at our conference. This is, is so, so valuable. This is, is crazy valuable, right? You can already see the impressions it's getting. You can see the the interest. It, it happens there. Like, like I can't stress the, the value of this. And then like today, you know, again, like I'm about vulnerability. I'm really about vulnerability and showing, you know, certain parts of, of, of my life and what I do. And I don't know if this is per se like that vulnerable, but let me show you something. So I did that. And then I said, you know what? Let's like that, that piece of content did um really well um organically right because i'm answering questions i'm i'm showing people my value and, and telling them hey where's your target audience your target audience is on linkedin okay cool you need to target them you need to target them right you need to do these strategies so i've ran an ad on this video i said hey let's boost it on facebook let's put a little little sun sign little put a little money on there and run that what challenges are you experiencing right now in your business i'm here to answer questions right so this is on facebook um, but let's run an ad on Facebook on, on, on this piece of content. Let's see who we reach there, right? We're going to run this ad um, on LinkedIn as well. So that's that's why this is so valuable. You want to build up your LinkedIn profile. You want to build it up. You want to show content. You want to show who you are. You want to show that you're a thought leader. Um, and this is going to help you grow. Think about what you do in your industry. Think about what you do in your industry. You're in this webinar. You're watching this webinar because you want to grow your business. You want to grow on that development side. You want to improve what you're doing, right? You want to earn more money. You want to get inbound leads, right? You want to build your brand because when you build your brand, you solidify your legacy, right? Because you don't. when you build a brand, it comes to you. So you're not always having to be on the attack and the attack and the attack. Imagine this. You have a sales team, right? You have a sales team. You've got sales going on. Great. But now in the back, you've built a brand. So you, you're going to have that leads coming in, right? So if something that maybe happens in sales or whatever, maybe a slow months are coming in because you've built a brand, you're going to position yourself to consistently generate that, 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 that demand, you know, imagine the more you grow, the more you keep doing this, the more you keep doing this, the more you keep building your brand, you're always going to be able to generate leads. You're always going to be able to generate revenue because people like you, you're going to build a community. You're going to build an audience who know, like, and trust you. And that's where the power lies. So again, like this is one of my clients and this is on YouTube. And again, like you guys know, we repurpose all of this content. So what you see on YouTube, you're going to see on his LinkedIn. YouTube is just a place where it's that video platform where people can spend more time with you. Look at this. Look at the amount of content that's here, right? So just building that know, like, and trust factor. You see, you build a community like this. He's in mentorship, right? He, we keep growing this have 100 people, 200 people, 300 people outside of his business paying him $500 a month, $200 a month because you've built that community and that audience. So you see how valuable this is? Um, so we'll go back to my LinkedIn and then we'll go back to the presentation in the meantime. Um, so yeah, you need to understand a well-optimized LinkedIn platform um, profile is crucial for generating inbound leads. So let's talk about strategy. What are strategies that we can use? Content strategies, because that's that's my expertise. Content, content and personal branding. That is my expertise. That's what I know. The strategy, you know, like 
we talk about videos hooking people in the first three seconds um you know how can it be engaging knowing your audience right so i know a lot of my audience are in the older age brackets right they they know about social media they're there but i know what's going to impress them i know what's going to engage them even though i'm always seeking to be engaging right i want my content to be different i want my content to be unique so there's different strategies a linkedin newsletter for me is a must 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 you gotta have a linkedin newsletter so i'm gonna explain why videos video content why it's important linkedin live which i still haven't been on as much but i do know that's valuable even without having dipping my toe in there as much and and speak and also listening to a lot of linkedin experts um linkedin audio and images images are good too right and you you've seen on my profile there i was mixing between images and video and newsletter because i have a newsletter as well so these are just great strategies that you can use to now build up your brand build up your profile on linkedin because again I believe LinkedIn is a great platform for B2B space. It's like the TikTok, it's underpriced attention. Again, I always do suggest is building that omnipresence. So what you see on my LinkedIn, um, I'll have different types of content, but you'll see content um, everywhere. You'll see content on Facebook. You'll see content on Instagram. You'll see content everywhere. So that is like really, really valuable. Um, so yeah, being able to just have omnipresence, but you want to have specific strategies just for LinkedIn specific strategies, just, just for LinkedIn, that can be really, really powerful. Okay. So let's talk about a LinkedIn newsletter. I can't stress the importance of having a LinkedIn newsletter. It is so, so valuable. Okay. Why? So consistency helps in building trust and positioning yourself as a reliable source of information. And that's consistency in a newsletter, right? So again, I always like to show the proof in the pudding. Now, where can we find my newsletter? Uh, okay, um, go on my profile. Um, okay, did it show all resources here? No. Feature section. Okay, so let's go on a newsletter. Um, so this is my newsletter um 272 subscribers right 272 subscribers so that is extremely powerful because now every time i post these 272 people will be informed they'll get an email and what happens is when you have a linkedin newsletter it goes into people's emails and because it's linkedin it ranks really well in people's emails it ranks at the top so they'll be notified even if they're not a subscriber i've noticed that linkedin sends people notifications that this person's dropped um a newsletter edition and your newsletter is niche to your audience so you're a roofing inspector you can have a newsletter on roofing and why it's important for your company to have the great roofs and there's people who are kind of searching that for that solution or who may be interested in that solution or who may be even interested in you, now they'll be in tapped in your newsletter. They'll get information to the newsletter and you now build up that audience. You build up that community. And reading is a very, very powerful tool. Reading is psychological. So I could not stress the importance of a newsletter. That's why, you, as I said, you see me how... Um, I'm so much on content and videos, but a newsletter is so valuable, right? So I've received quite a lot of impressions on my newsletter. I just believe when you have something that's niche, you can really target a specific group of people. And that's that's really, really powerful. So a LinkedIn newsletter, I stick to one a week um, that I'm doing, and I can't stress the importance of that enough. Um, followed hashtag, this is important. What's that? not important that's something that i'm just you will follow in 24 people you know um yeah so a linkedin newsletter is extreme extremely extremely valuable i would definitely advise you as a ceo whoever you are um you know wherever you are on your journey you're just starting out on linkedin you know for some of you guys writing may be easier for you writing may be more comfortable for you Right. But I definitely get into the practice of writing because what I'm realizing with this is like even me myself, I'm gaining a talent in it and a skill in it. I think it's a skill and this is something that can help you write a book. Right. You're sharing something um, within your heart. 
you're sharing something about who you are and what you're going through, right? Like, and then it's just builds up that, that 7114, you know? So 7114 is a rule. And I, I did a, a, a speech the other day or yesterday, a presentation, and I talked about this 7114. So for someone to buy from you, they need to consume seven hours of your content. Part of that seven hours can be a LinkedIn newsletter, right? Because here's someone spending time with me, the power of connection. They're reading about me. They're reading the, the value and the what I'm sharing with them. So I de- if you want to grow your business, especially on LinkedIn, I can't stress the importance of a LinkedIn newsletter. It's so, so important and so valuable. Imagine that when, pe- when you put out a newsletter, everyone gets a notification. Because what happens when you put a newsletter out is you need to keep reminding people what you do. You need to keep reminding people what you do. That's marketing. You need to keep reminding people what you do. So you constantly stay on top of mind for people. And then now because of the algorithm, AI is really good at showing people what they want to see. So there's people who are really interested in personal branding and CEOs who think about it and and want to brand themselves and want to express their greatest gift. They're thinking about it. So now when they're scrolling, the AI does a really good job in showing them what they want to see or what they may be interested in. So that's why I think a LinkedIn newsletter is extremely valuable. Um, again, I've kind of touched on all these points that I said here. Um, yeah, so feel free, Felicity, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, videos. Okay, videos are really, really important, right? So LinkedIn's algorithm tends to favor video content after prioritizing it in user feeds. Because again, like I like to say, um LinkedIn benefits from ads so if they keep you on the platform longer they make more money and this goes for every single platform so videos usually hook people in more because video it's a face to the name they see you there's movement it's just obviously more appealing to people so LinkedIn prioritizes that right so um that's why it's so important and it leads to increased validity and reach because now you reach more than people just who are in your connections or who just follow you. Sometimes um, people think that, oh, it's only the people in my connections or only the people who are following me who see my content. No, that is not true. What happens again, like I said, the algorithm sees what content you're posting, sees the value in it, sees what it's about and it tests it, sees, hmm, is this content good? It puts it out. If it sees that people are liking your content or watching it or spending time instead of swiping away, if they're actually spending time watching your content, LinkedIn then says, oh, okay, we need to send this to more people. So now LinkedIn puts it to more people and more people and more people. So that is powerful because now, again, you're competing on a global scale. And that's why I always say this is the greatest time to be alive because now your business expands your job your geographical network, right? So that's why video is extremely important and good video. Um, They can invoke emotions, provoke thoughts and encourage viewers to share their opinions, leading to richer discussions and a strong connection with your audience. So I extremely believe in the power of video, 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 video is extremely powerful. And then now you can just be strategic. So if you're a person out here listening to this or watching this, um, be strategic about it, right? So you can say, hey, look, okay, yes, I'll build on LinkedIn and use these videos on LinkedIn because that's where my target audience is. But what about YouTube, right? What about if I can put these videos on YouTube, which Google owns, you know, so people are searching for those solutions. I can be on YouTube and like, it gives me another location for people to go to, which is part of the 7 which is seven hours of, seven hours of content, 11 interactions, Um and four locations. And so the four locations is someone sees you on LinkedIn, they're going to do more due diligence. They're going to see you on YouTube. They can see you on Facebook. They can see you on Instagram. So I would say like with videos, you want to repurpose your content. So you want to be on YouTube. You want to be on LinkedIn. You want to be on different platforms. But let's say your target audience here, B2B is on LinkedIn. But now these videos, they can see elsewhere, right? So um, videos are extremely important. I want to actually talk about another strategy, which I think is very valuable as a founder and as a business owner who's looking to grow no matter where you are. And you can always start small. Again, everything comes down to your imagination. Um, Whatever you do, wherever you are in your business, you need to imagine the highest level. You need to imagine the highest level and see how you can shine, 
right? And imagine it, even though if you can't do it, just imagine it, put it in your mind, feel yourself, embody yourself in that position. But I want to talk about workshops, like hosting workshops. Like you can see me here. Oh, let's see. I can't react. Why? I'm not too sure. Um, you can ask questions, but I can see it reacting. It's reacting here. It's showing me like reactions. Um, all right, let me show you guys. Look, this is just an example of hosting a workshop. Cultivating successful mindsets. Really, really love this because I truly, truly, truly believe that everything that happens in the physical realm happens up here first. Before you all came here, you already visualized yourself here. The same thing that happens with our success, that happens with our wealth creation, you can never manifest into the physical realm if you can't see it up here. You can't just wake up one day and all of a sudden, oh, geez, I've got 50 probably in my property portfolio. How did that happen? I don't know. No, you worked your way through there. You imagined yourself having them and you did what needed to be done for you to achieve them. So you see... That's just an example. He held, this is one of my clients and um, I had an idea. I'm a big fan of Daniel Priestley. And he talked about this concept of hosting uh, workshops, right? Like there are so many people out there who are clueless to what you know. And for you, it's second nature to you, but for other people, they don't know it. So basically, if you can just sh show your expertise and explain your expertise, that's really valuable in-person workshops. But now not like what other people do, you can document it. And now that becomes content for you to use. You can run ads on it. You can do whatever you want and you use it for LinkedIn because imagine the decision makers, they say four out of five people on LinkedIn are decision makers. So now decision makers, your people who have money to pay you, they're scrolling through. Imagine if they see you in a boardroom teaching what you know, showing value, expertise, even something like this. He's in the finance industry and it was about generational wellness. Um, and he was talking about imagination. It's something a little bit different. It's something that's emotional. It's something that it makes inspires you, right? That could have been inspiring to you. So workshops are an amazing way to get content and show you as a thought leader. You know, seeing and hearing someone talk about their expertise adds a personal touch and that text alone cannot provide, right? This builds trust and credibility with your audience. You document it and post it, right? I touched on this earlier. So hosting workshops, ooh, big game, big, big game. Host a workshop every month. I strongly advise that. Um, if you need any help with hosting a workshop, feel free to let me know. We're doing these great strategy sessions. So, you know, even to just have a chat, is amazing but I, I definitely believe a workshop is so vital is so crucial is so important in you know spreading out what you do and your brand out there to more people because then you can use the content from the workshop for your LinkedIn I promise you because it just shows it puts you at that highest status it it just it sh it puts you in a different light right and then if you're able to use the content strategically that's what's going to bring you inbound leads. Imagine if people keep seeing that. Imagine if people keep seeing you teaching and showing enthusiasm for what you love and you're actually providing value. It's going to have a great effect for you. Um, so let's go to the next one. Personal touch. You see, this is my parents here, right? Humans want to connect with humans. Business owners want to connect with business owners. So let's, let's do this. Uh, let's go to my profile. See what I'm talking about. Okay. So, like I was saying, what what are some of my highest impressions and what does well? What I noticed is a lot of the personal stuff, right? A lot of the stuff outside of the business. This is me looking cool. Um, let's have a look here. Look, this one got a significant amount of impressions. Good amount, two or seven, and even people came. I remember one person came to me the other day. He's like, oh, like you have a really good relationship with your parents. Like, that's really cool. Why? He saw it on LinkedIn. That's where he saw it from. That's why he came and said that to me. He's another business owner. But he came and said to me, hey, I really like the relationship you have with your parents. Why? Because people connect with humans. So by me posting this, 
you know, sometimes we think on LinkedIn, especially on such a professional profile, oh, maybe I shouldn't show the personal stuff. Like, no, they're not going to want to see it. I used to kind of even think that sometimes I'll do my music videos and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to, this is business owners, but that's the stuff that kind of makes you stand out a little bit because it shows a different side to you. So I think this is major, major game, major game, um, showing this, the personal side, right? So that could be you with your children. That could be you taking a walk. That could be you in the gym. That could be you just doing something personally. You know, look, someone, you know, had a, you know, listed there. This is such an important reminder. My dad passed away 21 years ago and never got to meet his grandchildren. I wish I could tell him I loved him one more time. That's another business owner. Can you imagine that? This photo here, it sparked an emotion. It sparked something in her. It's like, oh, wow. She felt emotional just seeing that, right? So that just has a profound impact on your business because now people want to, they relate with you. And then it's going to just open you up. It opens you up and says, oh, hey, like I like this person. I actually like what they stand for. And then they go into what you do. And then now that opens opportunities for your business pretty cool right so be yourself show people in behind the scenes this is what separates you from everyone else it's really what separates you from everyone else everyone has a business that's you know it's like this analogy when you're walking on the street you, how many people do you see you're not going to remember all those people because everyone's just walking you're not going to remember who but let's say you're walking on the street and you remember a familiar face you remember you you say oh i know like someone waves to you and you know that person from high school Later, at the end of the day, you're going to remember, oh, I saw Johnny uh, walking today. They're going to stick out to you. And this is like on social media, on like LinkedIn, people are scrolling. There's so many things. People are advertising their business all the time. So what makes someone, oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, what makes someone, you stick out in the crowd? Things like this. Things like this makes you stick out, the personal touch. <clears throat> Build and engaging your network. This is such a lovely photo. I see why this has got the, the the top impressions. You see a nice, pretty girl. See a nice, handsome fellow here. You know, in a great green setting, looks pretty cool. Um, building and engaging your network strategies for connecting, connecting, connecting. I, I've really found the value in connecting with people, and I want to keep connecting with people because <laughs> um, I think it's very, very valuable. And I'll actually explain why. So, identifying and connecting with the right people, whoever's in your audience. Whoever you feel can be a great connection, whoever you feel can maybe be a great partnership. That's, I think, one small thing I want to talk about too. You can build great partnerships. It's not always about getting customers per se or clients, but partnerships. You can partner with someone where you bring them business and they bring you right? So that's a really, really powerful thing. Hey, Felicity, can you turn put your thing on mute? Like if, if you don't have like, a, just because it kind of will affect the mind. But um um but yeah when and you when you have a question please feel free to feel free to and we'll go into the questions just shortly, um but yeah connecting connecting is really 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 powerful because like I was saying partnerships so you can build great partnerships with people um you build them business they bring you business and that's really powerful and you can do that through LinkedIn so I think that's a great way to engage is connecting with the right people. So I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Digital marketing, right? In the space that I'm in, uh, just one second. Okay, awesome. The space that I'm in, a great partnership for me is with a digital marketing firm. Why? Because digital marketing firm have clients and they need great content to market for their clients, you know, and their clients struggle to get that content. That's also why they have them on the digital marketing side. So they're doing their websites, they're doing the SEO, they're doing, um, you know, these other things. And actually, I have an example of that. Um, so they need to get great content. So then they partner, imagine now me building great connections, they partner with me to help them get the great content and they look good in front of their clients. They have now content for their clients to market. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. And this is this business came through LinkedIn. Okay, why is it not letting me go on my Google Maps? Okay, let's go. Okay. So what am I, what am I, what do I mean by that? Let's have a look. Okay, so I'll go back to my high performing impressions. Here we go. And I showed you guys this photo earlier. So this came through a partnership. Um 
let's have a look podcast interview uh this guy is one here so I posted a video on my LinkedIn saying, hey, like if people want to come out there and get their story out there to the world and you want to be able to build your brand, come and have a chat and you can come on the podcast. You can come on your podcast, build your brand and grow your network, right? Grow who you are. Um, so he contacted me because what did he do? He saw it on LinkedIn. He saw that video on LinkedIn. He loves the style of the way I do what I do. Then message me. Gave me a call, said, hey, look, I've got a client. He's a thought leader. He's he's unique. And I love the way you do content. I saw that video. Do you have a spot on the podcast? Now, we charge for that. You have to pay to come on the podcast. But you see, that is a partnership. And so now they want to do that every month now because we do all the work in terms of he comes on the podcast. It's storytelling. It's natural. It's authentic. He's not standing in front of a camera. They also don't have to have all so many ideas no they can now leverage me so that is a partnership because now it makes their job easier they look good in front of their client they build business for their client because now they're going to utilize the content from the podcast for their content for their website for youtube for building his brand for getting him on even other podcasts um and that is a great partnership right and that business came to us through linkedin so that is an example. Again, I practice what I preach, right? I'm not sitting here saying things that I haven't done or what hasn't come to me. No, I'm talking about real life. I'm talking about how to use these strategies to build inbound leads. This was an inbound lead for me, right? Because what did I say? I hated being able to go and sell, 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 maybe going to him. Yes, I could have maybe approached him, you know, and tried to sell. But the reason why he came to me is because not only does he keep seeing me, boom, 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 boom but he sees the style. He can see it. He can see the proof is in the pudding. He can see the content. So he's like, man, I relate with that guy. I like that guy. Hey, let me give him a call because I need that. I have a problem and, and we solve that problem. So, um, and that leads me back to connecting. So we connected. So when you connect with the right people, exactly like what you've seen there when you connect with the right people now your content will keep showing up even old content the content that you did six eight months ago will show up in front of them and it's going to keep showing up so when you connect with the right people that is fantastic you want them to come on your profile you want to be building so much content newsletters and and articles which is a newsletter but content and just build up that profile so when you connect with people they go straight to your profile I think there's a space right now on LinkedIn and I'm getting this so much and I really try to be different, but now LinkedIn is becoming quite a place where people just come in, it's crazy, and then just sell to you because people are realizing the power of LinkedIn, but they just come in your inbox and they just sell to you, sell, 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 sell. sell. It's crazy. Like I know a lot of people automate their messages and they they try to kind of personalize it in a way, um, but it's just so like cringy. I'm like, yo, like you didn't even come in and, like, you know, see who I am. You just kind of sent me a message, right? And so I kind of in a space where I prefer to connect and we can do that, right? Like we do do that where we can instill sales in a place, but how can we do it differently? How can I maybe connect with people and just say, hey, like, you know, you have a problem. And that's why um a great idea for maybe some of you guys could be using Sales Navigator, or LinkedIn groups, you know, LinkedIn groups could be potentially good where certain people have a problem in those groups. And now you can show up in that group and either post content in that group, but also connect with people in that group because they're in your target audience and even just, hey, introduce yourself. So that's what I'm also um, noticing in the marketplace on LinkedIn and making sure that we do do it, even though we do have sales because you do need sales in your business, but how can we stand out? How can we actually make people feel like they're human beings? Because that's what's happening on LinkedIn. People just come in, Hey, come to my webinar or come and do this. And yes, that's great. Like for example, we host a workshop. Yes. I don't mind going and saying to people, Hey, like, are you going to be in Sydney? Come and come and join our workshop because I know that workshop is going to be valuable for them. But I still do believe in a way of like humanizing it, right? Actually being so like, hey, outside of a workshop, outside of an event, hey, 
Um, do you have any questions in, in what you're doing at the moment? Like I'm experienced in this field. And if you have any questions, let me know. Even if they don't become a customer, at least you can serve them in a way of answering questions. So um, yeah, I don't know. I thought that's something that I'm still experimenting with. Um, but again, I've just got so good at building my brand that the inbound leads are just going to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. It's going to be more us managing too many leads inbound than doing the outbound. The outbound will be more, how can we answer questions? Um, how can we present ourselves in a way that's great? Um, because yeah, that's what I'm seeing on LinkedIn. And, and I think um, if you can just add that, I think you can really stand out, really stand out. How can you just ask questions? Hey, if you have any questions, let me know, right? How can you just continue to add value? Um, personalized instead of just kind of spamming people or just sending 20 30 automating messages that have no personal touch whatsoever um yeah and so i think you can use linkedin sales navigator as well um events another great way to use linkedin is is to have a, your hosting an event linkedin is a great platform to use to utilize so it's a fantastic way to show yourself as a key person of influence in your industry right i would advise weekly webinars monthly workshops you need to be out there as much as possible. So now when you're hosting a weekly webinar, you're hosting a workshop, you use LinkedIn, you use the events tab to showcase that because then again, to your target audience, it makes you seem, well, which is what you are, but it puts you in that level of expertise, which is really, really powerful. Okay, questions. I really guys hope you guys enjoyed this webinar. Um, you know, for everyone on YouTube, um, yeah, I'm really grateful for you guys being here and I can't wait um, for a lot of people who miss this to watch this because it's going to be extremely, extremely valuable um, for you and great strategies. And again, it's me showing my thought leadership. What am I going to do? There'll be clips of this that will go on LinkedIn, which you will see. So that's just the way to go. Questions, questions. Felista, ask me some questions. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's your question? Okay, I have a qu I have a question. Like, how can you prepare? Like, if I'm I'm thinking of hosting an audio event in my LinkedIn workshop, how like how can I prepare to suit it at my best? How can you prepare to suit like your what well, like wait, can you explain that question again? Okay, I must let, let me rephrase it. Like, can you give me tips to prepare when I I am hosting an event? Because I'm looking forward to to host one this month. What's the what's the event about? Is like is it a webinar? What's the event? No, it's just, yeah, let's say that. No, it's like an audio event. Okay, audio. Just like for the start, you know, you know, just for just for fun, something like that. Okay, and what's the event about? Uh, it will be like about virtual assistant and my targets are uh, uh, founders, entrepreneurs, and virtual assistant freelancers. Okay, cool. So you can... Do a video, get your phone out and do a video. Hey guys, I'm hosting an audio only. It's audio only guys. So you're going to want to be there. And it's really about like, how can you save time? Like I get it. You're so busy and things have just been really stressful for you. Um, but look, you're going to come in, listen in, and I'm going to give you a few tips that you can use a great VA. You can outsource instead of doing it in your own country um, and be able to save yourself time, right? So you can do a video like that. Maybe if you don't want to do a video, you can um, you can get a photo, right? And then just post great content on that photo, good copywriting, spacing, you know, getting people to the event. So maybe something like this, you can start preparing. If you know you're going to host an event every month or let's say if it's a month away, then you can have a newsletter and you talk about things in the virtual assistance world, like how you've experienced it or what you've seen in some clients and some case studies about what's worked well with the people you've worked with. And then in that newsletter say, by the way, if you really enjoyed this and you got some value in this, 
I'm hosting a audio only event. Um, and it's a great way that we can connect with each other. I'll see you there. So you can plan it. And as you know, because you're hosting it at a certain time frame, you can now use certain strategies like a newsletter. You can use video content again, which I talked about um, and posts and photos to now promote that event and actually create an event on LinkedIn on the events tab as well. Um, and then when you create the events tab, you can literally go in and invite people, boom, boom, invite your target audience to come to the event. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I think I didn't know about the newsletter like a form, as a form of advertising it. Mm -hmm. I guess I will try that. I will try both. See, I can try both like video and then newsletter, you know. Mm -hmm. Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, video newsletter. In Because you're like in Kenya, is there, do you guys have an event bright there? Yes, we have event tribe. Oh, so you can like, but like it only shows up events obviously in your local area. Sorry? It it only shows events in like your local area? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, in the uh, uh, countrywide. Oh, countrywide. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, that even on my event, right? I don't see events from overseas, but obviously I was just thinking that's a, but yeah, even. In, you can like do event right there like do wherever there's events marketing like event bright you can post your event there right so you post it out in different places um but let's say obviously we're talking linkedin i think those are a few strategies and even like how we met we met through linkedin right i think i had seen your um profile obviously i post content and kind of match then then boom so yeah it's really powerful but yeah those are great ways to promote your event okay thank you mm. yeah 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 any other questions anything anything top of your mind it's okay if you don't just you know no it's okay i think for now for if for the context no no, 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 no. i don't have anything in mind you're good Okay, perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for um, tuning into this webinar. Um, this was really good. Um, again, if you guys have any comments, put it in the comment comment section below. Um, more content. Um, I did this presentation as well. So hopefully I'll be able to release that maybe within, I'll, I'll see, I'll see when I want to release it, uh, depending on how cool you guys are. Um, anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Um, go out there, post on LinkedIn, no matter where you are in the journey, you can start now. If you already have a good LinkedIn profile that's optimized, post, post, stick to a schedule. If it's once a week, twice a week, four times a week, me, I'm every day because I know the value in this platform and how it's going to keep helping us grow our business. And again, it's not being emotional. I'm not emotional about these platforms. Um, you know, it's about how can we use these platforms for distribution? They use us, we use them. You know, how can we use LinkedIn, YouTube to get the data and get these people in the emails, numbers, you know, that personal connection and build your audience. Because when you build a brand, you build an audience of people who know you, like you, trust you, and you can just generate so much revenue because you need people. Dogs don't pay you, cats don't pay you, people pay you. So, you know, to get people to pay you, you need to build a brand. You got to get people to trust you. You got to pay people to like you. You got to get people to see the value in who you are. And the way you do that is by putting yourself out there and using the distribution, the different channels, which like LinkedIn is a channel to be in their face because business is all about attention. You need to get someone's attention. You're having an event, you need their attention to know about it so they can come and enjoy it so you need people's attention and you have to find where did my audience hang out okay my audience are ceos their executives their chief marketing officers well those people are on linkedin okay let me show up where they are and show up greatly and your life will change okay guys thanks so much and i'll see you in the next video